Elaine and I, at some stage many years ago, had the privilege of coming to know a remarkable lady, no longer alive. Her name was Lena Rustin. And she was a speech therapist, but a much better speech therapist, not that I wish to make invidious comparisons, than the one you saw in the film The King's Speech. Did you watch that film? Uh, the speech therapist in The King's Speech just taught technique, you know, how to deal with hard consonants and how to, you know, uh, construct the rhythm of a sentence. Uh, Lena did more than that because she realized that within any family, and she was dealing with five-year-old kids, um, stammerers have a particular role within the family dynamic. Are you with me? And families get used to dynamics, um, that each member of the family has a certain role to play. And she realized that if she wanted children to lose a stammer, they had to renegotiate all the relationships within the family. She had to turn families into fluid and growth-oriented places. And uh, she did extraordinary things. She worked out that you had to be able to do the following things. Number one, it's scary to change. Even if you've got a stammer, it's scary to lose it because it's scary to lose anything. You've built it into your self-image. So how do you get kids not to be scared? And this is the solution she came to. Everyone in the family had to praise others in the family every single day for one simple thing that they did. Because when you have praise within a family, everyone feels good and confident, and they're able to change. She realized that you have to learn how to listen. Because a stammering child takes time to get a sentence out, so everyone in the family has to learn how to listen. She realized that in the family, you have to learn how to negotiate. Because otherwise you have rows, right? I want to go, you know, I don't want to go to bed, etc. You, you get rid of all the rows by teaching everyone in the family how to negotiate. She taught them how to uh, collectively problem solve because people in a family can get stuck in a particular, you know, they, they only have one solution to a problem. As somebody once said to someone with a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. So she taught them how, as a family, to solve problems together. And she taught them also how to make contracts together. Those five skills... I suddenly realized, were not just skills that help stammering children. They helped everyone. Because I made a documentary program about her work for the BBC, and I was get, visiting families, and one after the other, I would ask, did Lena solve your, cure your child's stammer? And one after the other, they would say, oh, yes, yeah, sure, she cured our child's stammer. But more importantly, she saved our marriage. <laughs> and I, I suddenly realized there's something amazing about this, these techniques. I had, for the only time in my life, a dysfunctional camera crew. They were bickering the whole time. And they spent one evening filming Lena teaching parents, standing in a circle, to give and receive praise. Now, it's quite hard for some people to give praise. For other people, it's quite hard to receive praise. Oh, it was, it was nothing. It was, you know, and she'd say, oh, they were giving you a present, and you just threw it away. And I suddenly realized that these five techniques that she was teaching five-year-old children were sufficient to keep and sustain relationships for a lifetime. And they were stunning, and they were taught by game playing, so there was no moral judgment. So, you know, nobody was saying, get married, okay? They're only five-year-old kids. Um, but these were incredible techniques, and they were life-changing. I mean, oh, sorry, I forgot to say about the camera crew. They spent one evening filming Lena teaching parents to give and receive praise, the next day, 
They started praising one another. And all the acrimony vanished. It disappeared. They suddenly all started loving each other. I mean, it was crazy. So I sat with three consecutive secretaries of state for education, telling them this story and saying, please, it's worth doing one little pilot project. I did not succeed with any of, any of those secretaries of state for education. But this I can guarantee you. We can teach children of five years old to become we people in a way that will make them happier for life. And it is so simple and it breaks my heart that we're not yet doing it.